It was, uh, I was uh, having a, a player's alternate locker room, which is I think just down here, the, the, the corridor. And it was nice, it was big. But uh, then uh, Andy pulled out and I really didn't want to change. You know, I really felt like I'm the number nine player, not the, the top eight. But then the tournament director told me that there was this nice lady who was just working on this printing and everything within the locker room, which I'm going to show you all night she did not sleep one hour and then i felt kind of bad and <laughs> i changed but it's it's apart from the picture which i think it's not great the face actually everything else is is nice i can tell you my password since i'm leaving tomorrow it's nine one nine one right <laughs> okay this is um it's a small locker room but i have to say honestly i like it because i'm one of those guys who you know, obviously on tour you have different rituals before you go on court and uh, I'm one of those guys who just likes to be alone, not to hear anybody or anything around me. So I just, even to my team, I like to clear out the locker room and just be alone with my thoughts for 10 minutes, you know. It's uh, not that big, but it's enough what you need. I am going to steal a couple of these because it has my name on it. You have the picture here. I, I like this one. This one looks a little bit better than the one outdoor. And this is my shower. As you can see, they're having Yanko all over the place. And you know, when I saw that, I just, I just had to move. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't stay in the, in the other locker room. I heard it from stories, but obviously this is really, probably the best event that I've ever played. Okay, uh, this is my jacket, which you are <laughs> making fun, eh? fun about. My wife bought me this jacket, if I recall. Mm. It's, I really don't care that much if it's stylish or not stylish. I just can promise you that it's really, really warm. I don't know if this is, I don't know, a dead animal or <laughs> whatever. But anyway, it f keeps me warm and it's black and that's everything that counts. My glasses for the match, I normally have two pairs. Uh, I have uh, one, which I currently played in. Normally it goes like this. I put them on before I go on the court. And I have one more pair, in case I lose this pair, because I lose everything that has that I have. And these are, I think they're black. But, oh, oh but I have no lenses, so. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I didn't lose this only pair which I have here, but normally I take two. On the Davis Cup, I have, a, I have an interesting rule with my physio. If I lose something for the first time and I'm losing everything I, I have, he gives it back to me. But if I lose it for the second time, whatever it is, he has the right to keep it. So one day, he came to practice with everything I own, like a jacket, pants, everything, you know, and he just said, this is good business just following you and taking stuff from you and I'm anyway giving him one pair of my glasses just in case I lose but well, you see how responsible I am <laughs> and just finally uh, you're now off to the Maldives and uh, even Novak's coming and talk about how uh, Lubacic has talked you yeah, into going he is uh, Ivan you're a great ambassador I have to say <laughs> we spoke uh, we spoke here is my beloved coach coming in don't be afraid uh, he spoke very highly about this resort which where we are going. We made booking so even I hope you're right. It's a long long way and I really hope that it's it's uh, it's gonna pay off. But anyway, we spoke to the people there and it seems really really nice so so I'm really looking forward to it. It was a long season. I played so many matches this year and I cannot wait to just rest for a couple of days.